Amen. I give an honor to God tonight, who's the head of my life. I give an honor to the pastors, um, the elders, reverends, saints, friends, visitors. Okay, um, I'm coming from Mark 11, verses 2, 1 through 4. And this is Jesus when he's um, at the last mile before he's being crucified. And it says that when they came nigh to Jerusalem unto Bethpage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent forth two of his disciples. And he said unto them, go your way into the village over against you. And as soon as you be entered, into it you shall find a coat tied, some verses say um, donkey, wherein never a man sat, loose him and bring him. And if any man say unto you, why do ye this, say ye that the Lord hath need of him. And straightway he will send him hither. And verse 4 said, and they went their way and found the coat tied by the door without in a place where two ways met and they loosed him. Now, um, this scene is where Jesus is coming to the end of his trip before his last hours before he's being crucified on the cross. And, um, you know, um, Jesus was facing agony. He, he was pain. He had pain. He had been rejected, betrayed. You know, death was facing him. The crucifixion was facing him. But on his mind, there was a coat. There was a donkey waiting to be untied that had been loose, that had been standing there, that has been bound. And um, God was saying this year that a lot of us are in that place and there's some things that he has already t told us to get rid of that we haven't gotten rid of that needs to be untied in our lives. And it could be like this donkey, you know, just, just standing there, you know. Um, in verse 4 it says... Um, the fold was tied where two ways met. This, this is like a crossroad, and some of us are, were like that in 15, but God said he's going to come, and he's going to change all of that. He said um, he's not afraid of the devil, because see, when, when he sent for that donkey with the, the, the two disciples, he said never man rode on it, but, but, but he said he can ride on it, he can tame it, so whatever is holding you back from being used of God in 2015, he said it's not going to be so, because he's going to come, and he's going to lose what, um, whatever, you know, was in your life because um, some, you know, people in the church, they can have one leg in, one leg out, you know, straddling, you know, the fence. You could have drug issues. You could have debt issues. It, it, you could have a broken relationship. All of that's tied up. God said he can't use us like that, but he's coming to untie. So he wants us to untie everything that, that keeps us from doing the work that he needs us to do for him. Because in 2016, um, um, he's getting us ready, you know, to go out and to witness and, you know, um, to take um, th um, the city. And that's the word that the Lord gave. You know, we have run our last mile. 2015 is over. Get rid of it. If it's a man, get rid of it. If it's a woman, get rid of it. They're stopping you from coming into a relationship with the Lord. God said, get rid of it. He said, get rid of it. Untie it. It's tying you up. He said, because he can't use you. He, can, he said he can't use it. Since you wouldn't do it, he said he's going to do it for us. Amen. 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 Even if it's cigarette, whatever. He's liquor. He said, get rid of it. He said, get rid of it. Amen. Amen.